What's up, everyone on Theme Park Wizard? We're back with another r episode where we rank rides, not from Disneyland this time, but from California Adventure. And we have Chris here, Orange Go 55. How are you, Chris? I'm doing great. How you guys doing? Doing well. How are you, George? Doing good. And are you ready to rank these rides? You know, they'll be a little bit shorter this time because there's not as many. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> so I had a, I included stuff like the bakery tour because again I try to include as many things as we can get. But starting with Wayne Abyssus Street, the only thing I can think of was the red car trolley. And we have the same categories. Hold on. Whoops. Oh. I always make this mistake. Hold up. Stupid banner. Hold up, guys. The same four categories. And I'd put the red car trolley on. Well, I've never been on it. But uh, I put on the same thing I put the Main Street vehicles on, which I think was a C or a B. I think it's a up for us. We'll only go on the other. Yeah. How about you, Chris? Um, I on this one, I'm gonna have to go with B. I can skip it once in a while, but I really like the, I really like the red car trolley. So, um, I don't need to go on it every time, but I I, I really do enjoy it. So yeah, I'm gonna go with B. How about you, George? Yeah, I would have to go with B as well. I do enjoy them, um, but it's not something that I have to do every time. But but I do love having it there, just regardless. For oh game. yeah, if it was, wasn't there, it'd be kind of weird. Like for the past year, there's no newspaper boys. It was a weird. Um, and I think that's it for Wayne Vista Street that I can think of. So we go over to Hollywood Land, partially Marvel Land, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's my favorite ride in the entire resort, so I'm gonna have to put it as a must do. How about you, George? I know you like this one. Oh yeah, that's definitely a must do for me. I That's actually, every time I go to DCA, that's always the first ride I shoot for. <laughs> oh wow, well, yeah, me too. How about you, Chris? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go must do. I, I love Mission Breakout. Oh, it's so fun. What's your favorite song? Um, I, 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 I gotta go with the, uh, the Jackson 5. Yes, that's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite. Uh, how about you, George? Definitely ABC. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, got it one time, but that one time was great. <laughs> and Monster Zinc, the ride I do was a filler in between while I'm waiting for my fast pass for mission breakout. So because of that, I'm going to put it as a B <laughs> because I actually really like Monster Zinc. Hold yeah, I, I really enjoy this ride too. It's actually one of those rides that are just kind of chill and you can, there's never a wait, or at least there wasn't before they added them. Yeah, fast, fast. <laughs> yeah but, um, but yeah, I mean, I, it's a B for me. I, I can skip it, but I definitely do enjoy it. It's a good way to get out of heat. It's a nice little dark ride. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a B for me. It's a nice fill in for the day. If like you ran out of anything to do, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, let's go over to Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> Monsters and <laughs> because it's in the same area and uh, kind of a permanent attraction, Vicky's Philhar Magic. I've seen it probably two times. I'm put as a B because you know, it's, if it's hot outside, it's, you can sit there and just kind of watch it. It's kind of nice and it's never really crowded. So, you know, I feel like that'll be something that'll be open during social distancing times because it's never crowded in the first place. So, I feel like it'll be an essential attraction. So I'm for the B. How about you, Chris? Um, I've I've done it like I think like two or three times now. Um, my mom actually really liked it. She she we went on that last year and she loved it. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but um, for me, I you know, I really enjoy it. But it's something that I probably would only go on if I if I was with somebody that hasn't been on it yet. So I'm gonna have to uh, go with column C. C. Yeah, it's not something that I, I, I really have to make a point to check out now that I've mm -hmm. seen it a few times. Well, I'm going to make, make things very confusing because I'm actually going to pick A. Wow. It's a. 
Now, now are you doing this based on the Disney World version or the? Or, well, or... it's it's pretty much the same as Walt Disney World's. Uh, mm-hmm. Disney World has a little more special effects put into it, but I mm-hmm. think it's more so that even if I'm at DCA, I'm just so used to it being a tradition of going to Florida and going into Philhar Magic that it just became a a regular thing for me. So oh, now you're wow. stuck with A, B, and C. A, B, and C. <laughs> I guess that I was out to so B. <laughs> wow, interesting. See, we're just so going up in the Jackson Five too. So A, B, C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's the same you said in four, or uh, a little bit. Different. It's yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty much the same show. But I mean, Florida's I believe has a little more extra special effects to it. Huh. But here's something that uh, we can kind of have in Florida, but just not in one building. The Animation Academy, and that I'm putting you know, everything inside it. So Turtle Talk with Crush and the Anna Elsa meet and greet. That will be a... <laughs> C, I think it's a C. Except it's a nice place to go when it's hot out. My friends and I go there when it's hot. I'm still going to say a C. <laughs> Because we don't really go into that very often. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm actually going to go with B. Just because that whole animation building, including Turtle Talk and all that, it just reminds me so much of DCA 1.0. It's like the last vestige of that version of California Adventure. Mm. It's just kind of <laughs> nice to kind of go back in time a little bit. <laughs> Is it DCA 1.0? So it's, it's, it's nice. And I love the animation building. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go with B. I can skip it. It's not a must-do, but <laughs> it's definitely, like, something I enjoy when I do it. How about you, George? I think for me, I would have to probably go with B. Because it is something that I do go into, not every time, but I guess I get just kind of like what Christopher was saying, it's something that... I don't know. It's like one of those things that it gives you that good feeling. Like it has yeah. like, that. Mm-hmm. it draws you into. That is, that is true. And <laughs> lastly for Hollywood land, the Marvel meet and greets. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever done one. I've but... never done <laughs> um, I, I actually, I've actually never done the Marvel meet and greets in Hollywood land, but I did them when we had the superhero HQ in Tomorrowland. I, I met Thor, mm-hmm. Spider-Man, you know, I, I did them back then. So I guess that kind of counts. Um, I'm going to go with number, I'm going to go with C. I only do it if I have people in my group that really want to do it. I'm not a big, like, like character picture taker. Like I do them when, mm-hmm. when, they're around and it's convenient, but I'm not going to like go out of my way to do them, you know? Yeah, I yeah, would agree with that. I, I would do it, but it's, I don't need to, nor really, you know, unless I'm with yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I only do it with my, with my best friend says, oh my gosh, it's Tiana, we have to go take a picture with her. <laughs> okay. uh, or Peter Pan, track him, she goes, Ethan, track him down. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll track Peter Pan down for you. <laughs> But they do kind of look cool, the Marvel meet, like, especially the Black Panther and the Captain Marvel one in the back lot. Very impressive for a meet and greet, I must say. And moving on to Cars Land, Radio Springs Racers. That's a must do for me. Oh, yeah. This is a must. Yeah. I've waited uh, 45 I, I, minutes in the single rider line and two and a half hours in the standby line for this one. So. It's so good. I just love the feeling of it because it doesn't feel like a like a roller coaster. Mm-hmm. It's it just the 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 like the exhilaration you get from it. The adrenaline is so much different than any other ride. It's just it's fun. Mm-hmm. And I like how the line, the, the queues are like outdoors, but it's like immersive because you know you're surrounded by the ride. So you you can't see anything besides the ride when you're and, in the outdoor. I was like, that's kind of interesting. You see the cars are racing around you and then they have that music. It's great. Every time I'm at DCA, I always have to make it my business to go on Radiator Springs. Cause I mean, we have the same ride system with Test Track, mm-hmm. but the storyline for Test Track for me is just so bleak. 
Yeah. And I just think this fits. Oh yeah, that's true. It's just a car going through some tests. <laughs> and uh, my friends always want. Uh, I mean, they if, I really, love if, I, if I really wanted to do something of test track with no traffic being out now, I could go into a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> and <laughs> <miles an hour. laughs> True. And this will be Luigi's the uh, Rollickin Roadsters. I think that's the last name. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one as a ooh. See, I like. I see either a C or a B. A C because I usually don't go on it, but B because I like to track this and when I go on it, it's actually kind of fun. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say B. How about you, Chris? Um, I'm gonna go C. I've only gone on it, I think, twice. Um, it's a cute ride. It's just something that I, I could go years in between rides <laughs> yeah. and be fine with that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, Enjoy. I think it has been years. I think it's been about two years since I've been on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's um, for me, believe it or not, this is a must do, and I'll wow. explain. And I'll explain wow. why. Every time I go into Cars Land, I have to do all three attractions, and the reason why is Cars Land for me is. The, the pinnacle point for DCA that I think that it needed as far as carrying a storyline and it, nothing fits better than cars that yeah, I agree. The theme of California so mm -hmm. it's almost like not that you have to do all three attractions but for me it just fits well with the storyline based off of the movies that it's I have to do all three before I leave the land I, I love Cars Land. It's so it's such a beautiful area. It's the I think it's hands down the best Pixar thing that Imagineering has ever done. Almost. Yeah, I, I thought and and no disrespect to Imagineering, no disrespect to Disney, I'm not saying it in that manner. But when I knew that they were gonna do Toy Story Land for Disney World and it was going to be around the same kind of concept with how Cars Land was and then when it opened and I experienced it it's like wah 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 <laughs> <laughs> now have you guys been on the flying tires I have yes. I've yes. never been on that one how was it was it slow or bad as people were saying it, it was okay just for me it was a lot of work it, it felt more like of a workout yeah yeah it, it was the, the vehicles like they're not easy to maneuver they're very heavy and big and it just wasn't you couldn't you didn't have a lot of like you weren't very like what's the word for it like the mobility of it was very like slow yeah. to react and everything yeah. it was like while you're like leaning forward and pushing and pulling it it takes a good 30 seconds for it to move the direction that you want to do while you're trying to go the other way now. And then it <laughs> no. It's like, that's where I got my first four pack. So, I mean, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> so you would say Luigi's is better than the flying pack. Oh yeah. 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 Much. Uh, good, good. Interesting. interesting. <laughs> and I feel like this one would be a must do for George because they has to do every single ride. <laughs> so the Tomaters. Tomaters. This one, I'm going to put it as a. A B because I will say that C, I, do, I do enjoy tomatoes a little more than Luigi's. Oh yeah, I definitely because four is a C for me. But then my friends and I went on it once, and then now we kind of go on it almost every time. And like at the end of the night, because the whipping, I love the whipping around. It's so you can if you like lean into it, it's even more fun. Like it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with B as well. I can skip it, but it to Tomaters is a lot of fun. It's a cool ride. Yeah. Like, my oops. <laughs> All right. And just like that, Cars Land is done. <laughs> now we're gonna go to something I've never been on, and that's the bakery tour. But <laughs> I love Pacific Wharf is nothing else that includes. So I figured that's probably the best thing. <laughs> so I can't really give an opinion, but. Uh, how about I mean, you? I know Lord it's Lord. there. I know it's there, but I'll probably never really do it. I don't. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't really appeal to me. Yeah, I, I've done it a couple times. Um, I enjoyed it actually. I did enjoy it, but I, but I but I'm not like 
it's I don't know, I can go I can go a long time without writing going on it again. So I'm gonna have to go with uh, C. I'll go on it if other people want to do it. But yeah, absolutely. It's kind of fun in the sense that it reminds me of DCA 1.0 again, though. That's kind of like one. Of the, that's one <laughs> of the better aspects of it. Factors. Yeah, it kind of brings so you back. So what happens in there? Like they show you to make bread. Yeah, they they they're making the bread. There's a like a video, and you know, it's it's pretty basic, but it's it's a nice way to get out of the heat and just kind of chill, you know. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Right. Now on to the Pixar Pier, which is kind of split up into two areas. <laughs> then credit coaster. This has turned into a must do for me and my friends. Even uh, cause the line usually goes pretty fast and. It's super duper fun. So, must do for me. How about you, Chris? I feel uh, like it's an F for you. Uh, well, no, <laughs> it's it's not an F, but it, it's it's going to be I will go on and if other people want to go on it. I'm not a huge um like crazy coaster guy. <laughs> and that's 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 pretty bored. That's pretty crazy for me. <laughs> um so I, I i'd have to go to lamplight lounge to get a few drinks and then, and then i could head over there and feel loose enough to actually enjoy the experience <laughs> but, but he'll, de he'll definitely stand in line to make sure he sees his jack jack on a stick yeah, jack Jack's <laughs> on sticks but uh, yeah it's, it's a c for me <laughs> how about you jordan uh, that's definitely a must do for me i'm wow. i'm a throw junkie i love roller coasters and I love the Incredibles. I mean, I do feel that they could have done a little bit better with the theming. Yeah. Uh, especially when it comes to Jack Jack. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, they should have just enclosed, they should have made like a tunnel it. or yes. yeah, and then had like projections yeah. or, or whatever. Yeah. But. yeah, that part over Midway Main is pretty easy to make a tunnel because the support's already right there and just. Make, you can make just and that part. The one thing that I really wish, I wish that they would have done something with the track. I mean, give it like a cool, you know, Incredibles paint job. <laughs> something, yeah. Or I wish too, because in um, a lot of the areas, you can still see a lot of rust. Yeah, like, it's pretty yeah. dirty. Yeah. It, it's, it's like you look at the track and it's almost like, oh, I need a tetanus after this. <laughs> but yeah, yeah pretty like, rusty. Yeah. But I do, I do like the ride though. I, yeah. I, yeah, but yeah, roller coaster track definitely needs a lot of maintenance because I know it keeps on running. See, 2001, 19 years old. That's longer than a lot of Six Flags coasters. And look at them, they're all rusty too. So come on, <laughs> Disney. I would see. Especially because it was closed for so long. Yeah. But, uh, uh, toy Story. This line is always too long for me. And because of that, <laughs> I'm going to put Toy Story as a. A C also because just like with Buzz, my my hands get tired after a while of doing the shaking of the thing. Um, I'm gonna have to go with a must do because um, I always do. I always go on this with my sister, and my sister always kicks my ass on this ride. It makes me <laughs> mad, and I always try to beat her, and it, is, it pisses me off. She always beats me. Um, but it's like fun to try to like go on there and do your best. I don't know. I always have a good time with the uh, Midway Mania. So I'm gonna go A. Yeah, it's a must do for me. I enjoy it just as much at Disneyland as I do at Walt Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that. And this one. <laughs> This one's an F. No, 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 no. I don't, no, like, yeah. I don't like Ferris wheels. <laughs> yeah. Especially I, don't like the swinging ones. Yeah, so, no, it's, it's an F, F for me. I've done it, <laughs> I've done it though, a few times. But I, I've done it, I've done it twice. Now, as I said, I'm a thrill junkie. I really <laughs> am. But I swear, I've gone on things backwards, upside downs, suspended, laying down, laying down, going backwards. I've done it all. Something about this ride, I get clammy hands every single time. Mm -hmm. I cannot move. I'm like sitting there shaking. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And that's the worst because you know this one's like all all roller coasters are fast. But this is just slow. Yeah. And you're yeah. Just going up and then you stop. But again, <laughs> it's something that if I were to look at it, if it wasn't there, oh it yeah, would, I would be I'd be mad if it wasn't completely out of place. 
it, it fits so well with World of Color. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like its best property is the decorative element of it. Yeah, yeah, and the lighting package is really nice. Oh, but uh, you'll never see me on there again. You <laughs> might see me on Jesse's though, because uh, that's a pretty cool carousels are fun. So fun though, but not so fun uh, that I put it B. It was fun enough to put it as a C. Um, yeah, I would have to agree. C for me. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Like, I haven't technically been on it since they rethemed it to Jesse. I went on it a yeah, bunch of times too. when it was King Triton, but it's a carousel. I mean, the, it, I got I got the gist of what the experience is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's. I think yeah, I'd go with C for sure. Oh, see, I think um, the King Tritons have music because I think Jesse's they added like a music. It seems like the Jesse retheme was actually an upgrade from what I from what I've seen on like the fresh yeah. videos and everything. Yeah, it looks like even because the characters I guess they they look super nice. So. And it's kind of enclosed ish. Yeah. Inside out. I like Flix Flyers. It's a pretty cool ride. I, I've never been uh, on the Inside yeah. Out version, but I've done Flix Flyers, so it's pretty much I've been on Inside Out without being on it. <laughs> yeah. Flix is cool. I wouldn't wait. It has like a 40 minute wait. I it, wouldn't it, do that. But... For, it'd be a B for me. Yeah, I think it's a B. I like Flix Flyers as long as yeah. like a 20 minute wait or less. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I went on it actually not too long ago with a buddy. Um, God, I forgot when that was. Maybe like October, November, or something like that. So, I mean, I went on it pretty recently. It's a fun little thing, but yeah, I wouldn't wait more than like fifteen minutes at all for that. <laughs> <laughs> and on to the other half of what used to be Paradise Pier. Here we go. <laughs> Roll the color. It's a, I've, I've never seen it in person, but I really like it. Some put as a much must do for me. You've never either. seen it in person? You know, it's always not never my fault. It's always my friend's fault. Whether they want to leave or they have a fast pass for something. I was like, I always them, come up to this shame land. on them. <laughs> I always come to this land saying, All right guys, at nine, ten or whatever, we're seeing World of Color. Like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go long, go long, go long, go long. <laughs> then it's like eleven and then we're like on Splash Mountain. I'm like, wow, what happened to World of Color people? <laughs> oh man, you gotta try it, Ethan. It's a it's a, a gorgeous show. It's it's completely different experience than watching it on YouTube and stuff, you know? Yeah, I'd imagine like I walked past it one time live, but I never got to see it. So sad. Definitely but a must do for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a must do. Oops. What happened? What? Goofy Sky School. Oh, this hurts me very much. So, and I used to really hate this, but I'll put it as a C. Eh, actually, I'll put it as a B because even though it hurts, it's kind of fun. I have I'm, to admit, I've lost my jacket on this thing. I've almost lost my wallet. But I'm gonna put it as <laughs> a C. And the reason why I would put it as a C is because it's more fun, especially if I could get my wife on it because. She can't stand things that look like they're about to go off the edge. Oh. <laughs> so, so she's more entertaining than the ride. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with C. I enjoy the ride, but it's something that, like, unless someone else in my party wants to go, I'm probably not going to do it. Okay, I've seen so many people almost hit their head on the lift tilt. It's crazy. <laughs> Jumping jellyfish. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna put this one as a B because I like to sit on the spot where I get a good view of World of Color. I mean, uh oh, a you got some you got some virus issues over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got these antivirus keeps popping up. It's so annoying. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but yeah, jumping jellyfish. Uh, definitely a B because it's always I always wait less than five minutes and I always get a really good view of the whole park at a nice slow pace. Love. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna go C. I mean it's okay, but I'm only gonna do it if someone else wants to do it. Yeah, it would be C for me. I've actually never done it before, um, so I mean I'm not opposed to doing it, but I would pretty much do it if I was with a group of people. So that's why I put put C. The Golden Zephyr. I think that's nice. No, silly Sifney swings. Ooh. I get a little nauseous on this fast swinging thing, so I'm gonna put it as a 
uh, well technically f because I, I wouldn't try but um but yeah probably an f yeah i'm gonna I'm go with like Achilles. yeah i'm gonna go with f it, it, it freaks me out a little <laughs> bit <laughs> <laughs> This is a must do for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, well, that average is like a C. <laughs> must do, huh? How come? I do I don't I mean, I've always loved like the swing type attraction, like when I go to my uh, uh, local amusement park, which is Kennywood. It's like that old traditional style amusement park and they have swings. Mm -hmm. So I always love that suspended <laughs> feeling of flying in the air. A nice wow. I just feel so unsafe on that thing because it's like it's like it's like you're my <laughs> local park. Like the swings are built from the same material. Like there's chains and yeah, like a, a rubber a rubber seat, and I just feel so unsafe being that high. <laughs> yeah, it's like those. Yeah, like a, yeah, you see on the parks and then like those little carnivals, you those cheaply made swing yeah. things. Like, mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Little Mermaid. Oh, I like this something one. Something we go on every time, just about. That's a yeah. must do for me. Someone it's a must do, that. yeah. Yeah, it's a must do because, wow. Not only is it a short wait, it's long. Great stuff. So. <laughs> the Golden Zephyr is definitely a C for me because I'll go on it with other people. I have no intention. Yeah, of going it's a C for me. It's a C for me, too, yeah. That's Golden Zephyr. Silly swings and jumping jump. That's three. Oh no, not jumping jump. That's like like three swinky spinny rides right next to each other. <laughs> it's like a mini carnival over there. <laughs> <laughs> Grizzly Peak, the Red Challenge Trail. That's an F for me. That's an F for you. <laughs> wow! Wow! No, I. I I like this one. I wouldn't say it's a must do, but it's a it's a B for me. You know, I it's, I like that the bridge, and it's a it's it's a cool thing to do when you know you're waiting for something. I'm saying it's a B too. Wow, an F, huh, George? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what about if you brought Josh? What's that? If you had Josh, if you had your son with you, would it be a C? Oh, tough. Okay. <laughs> 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 he well, said no grab the quick from here. Well, I guess if he wanted to do it or I so yeah, I mean I guess that would probably push me to a C. <laughs> You're like a low C. Yeah, that's like right that's like a C minus. That's a <laughs> <laughs> but Grizzly River Run is always a must do. That's a must do. That's me. a must do, yeah. yeah. That this one is great. So fun. Like, super two drops, and you. And I love how you bond with your raft mates because you're all trying not to get wet. And you're yeah, all talking, we're you're all, all like, talking shit. Like you're all like, you know, <laughs> it's yeah, just fun. Yeah. So we're like, oh, you're gonna go down backwards, and then I go down backwards. I'm like, no. <laughs> and I the line is not too bad. I could usually go on it like three times in a row. For me. Oh, anyway. oh yeah, I can't do that at nighttime. Usually, in the daytime. I think we waited an hour and a half. Really? Wow. Yeah. One time but it was one time it was like pouring rain. It was like a huge storm, and me and my buddy went on it, and we were literally the only one on the ride, and they just kept <laughs> letting us go over and over and over again. We cycled through like five times. Nobody else wanted to ride it. There was nobody in line. It was pouring rain, you know. But we're already wet anyway. Who cares? Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Oh wow. <laughs> Soren, wow. So I'm gonna do Soren. Ooh, which one should I do? I'll do both of them. Soren over California and Soren around the world. Two different letters. I'm gonna put. Soarin I'm over I'm California. I'm cut I'm cut between this because for Disneyland it is so much more appropriate of the older Soren, mm. where it it pays tribute to the state of California. Where at Epcot, I prefer the Soren around the world. I mean, I'll well, still go on sense. it, but the Soren around the world just doesn't fully fit into DCA like the original California one does. But I guess I would probably say B, yeah. only because if I were to happen to miss it, I, I wouldn't be too bummed out about it. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go A. I, I just I love I love the California version so much better, but mm-hmm. I can mess with the world version too. I, I'm cool with either one. I, I just love this ride. I'm gonna go A. So, but since there's kind of both of them, this one will be so. Keep yeah, that's pretty much what I would do. I would do like a must do for Soren for Callie and then You know, speaking of Soren, why don't they just do randomized? Why don't they when you yeah, get on yeah, it can be they either really one? Yeah. They should. They should just do you know, whatever one you get. They have how many uh yeah. multiple theaters. I, I no, kinda have a feeling or- it's it's kind of like it's kind of I kind of have a feeling that California Soren is sort of becoming the new major electrical parade, where every time they want to bring people in, like on the off season, they're gonna bring the Cali version back. You know? Like, yeah, absolutely. They brought it back for food and wine festival. Yeah. <laughs> they brought it back for summer. You know, they should do one Cali and one world or randomized, or they should take this time to refilm the Cali version. So. It's- the same 4K version, the world version is, though at least they look the same. Then yeah. people will really like it. Wow. And it's always kind of bugged me in the in the Cali version. My one critique about the Cali version is that when you soar over Disneyland, it's the Christmas holiday time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's kind of weird when it's not the holidays, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And, oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Small California adventure. It's over. <laughs> so cool. I guess I guess next time next time we do this, we'll probably be able to add um, Avengers Campus and Web Slingers. <laughs> yes, well, Web Slingers and oh, hopefully, hopefully the E ticket. Yeah, hopefully the E ticket. Yeah, hopefully too. in twenty thirty five the E. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So it looks like B. Well, if if B. that was if that was going to be the case, if it opens up at twenty thirty five, probably by then we'll be actually be wearing real jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> true. That is very true. We can be the ride itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So only so, one ride got an F, huh? That's Mickey's only Runway one ride. Pal around or whatever. The pal, yeah, I refused it. I they should have just kept it as Mickey's Fun Wheel. That's all I know. I, I, I can't get a run yeah, of Mickey's it face out. is still on there. Like, come on, man. Terrible. Well, here's the thing. If you're facing Mickey's face where you watch World of Color, it's Mickey's Fun Wheel. When you walk through uh, pier. the pier, it's it's Pixar's Pal <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean, he's the, he's the icon of the entire company. They easily could have themed it to, like, Mickey and his Pixar pals or something like they could have I think they could have done it a little bit better where it would have made a little more sense because I mean it's not like Mickey like Mickey's like the icon of the whole company you know you can easily tie that in somehow yeah with Pixar like oh Mickey and his Pixar pals or something mm-hmm. you know Mickey's like I explained it a little Pixar bit in the queue <laughs> yeah like, but the rest of these pals or something like that, yeah, pretty, yeah, even. yeah. The rest of these here are pretty even. B seems to win, but pretty, pretty even. Well, guys, comment your thoughts below on what your list and your favorite ride is, and subscribe. And as always, have a fantastic day. It's my